Supply and Demand Lesson for Kids Supply and demand are terms that refer to how economists and business people understand two things, the amount of a product that is being made and stocked, and how much of the product people are willing to buy. Understanding this relationship helps the people involved learn how to calculate the price of a product. However, this topic can become a little more complicated. Demand is defined by the amount of a product that customers want to buy. For example, if a restaurant sells 12 plates of spaghetti every day, their demand for spaghetti is 12 plates. However, there is another term that comes into play, the quantity demanded, which refers to how much of product customers are willing to buy at the given market price. While demand might increase because there are more customers or because one particular product becomes better than another, the increase in quantity demanded means that the product price is dropping. This is because people are willing to buy more of a particular product when the price goes down. Let's say that a woman goes to buy a box of her favorite cereal. The cereal usually costs $3 for one box. Today, however, she notices that it has been marked down to $2 a box. Because of this, she decides to buy two boxes. She buys twice as much cereal, twice as many products, as she usually does, because the product is cheaper. This is called the demand relationship. The quantity supplied, meanwhile, describes how much of a product its makers are willing to give while they make a certain price for their product. If a furniture company knows that it will make $50 for a table, for example, they may decide that it is only worth their time to make 30 tables a week. However, if the price of a table jumps up to $100, it is worth their while to make more tables, since they will make more money. This is different from supply, which refers simply to the amount of a particular product someone has at a given time. If the quantity supplied increases, this always means that a product has gone up in price. This is because people and businesses who produce goods need to know that they will make money off of a certain product, since making products to sell also costs money. There are tools that are needed, employees to pay, and more. For example, a pizza restaurant doesn't just make money, it also spends money by paying people to work, buying flour, eggs, tomatoes, pepperoni, and cheese to make into pizzas, repairing things if they break, and running lights and water to the restaurant. If the price of their pizzas go up, however, they will be able and willing to make more pizza, since they are making more money that will help them do all the things they need to do to run their business. This way that the price of a product is connected to the supply is called the supply relationship. I hope you now understand what supply and demand mean. If you liked the video, remember to like and subscribe to our channel.